Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage and what we're going to be talking about today is a mechanic stethoscope. So stay tuned. So what we're going to be talking about today is the mechanic stethoscope and by the looks of it you would think that this is a doctor stethoscope but as you can see we've got this one on the end here. So we're going to talk about when you would use a tool like this on your car. So let's get into it. Alright, so let's take a closer look at this tool before we talk about its uses. This one happens to be the Lyle 52500. We've got a couple earpieces here. We've got the binaural. We've got this long tube that goes to this chamber. And then inside this chamber, if I unscrew this, we've got a diaphragm there to help amplify the sound. And then we've got this aluminum wand here for probing. So basically one of the uses of a tool like this is used for just about anything where you need to amplify sound or isolate sound. So in the case of, for example, when I was checking the fuel injectors in the Acura Legend, you probably saw that I used this tool. And what that helped me do was to check for clicking in the fuel injectors. That was the first step of diagnosing the fuel injectors to see which one of those fuel injectors was not working. So all six fuel injectors were clicking just fine. I happened to find one fuel injector not using this tool that was clogged. Another instance where you might want to use a tool like this is when you have a bad pulley in your engine compartment. So for example, if your AC idler pulley or your alternator pulley were acting up, you could use a tool like this to isolate that noise. Now of course you want to keep this away from moving parts, so you could put this on the bracket that the AC idler pulley is attached to. Now in a pinch you could use a screwdriver. I had a friend teach me this trick a long time ago where basically you hold the screwdriver up to your ear like this. You touch this part against the part you want to check and that will help to isolate the sound also. The problem with doing this, of course, the screwdriver is shorter so you're in close proximity to whatever you're checking so if it's something that's moving that could be a little bit dangerous. But also you're turning your head to the right and you're not really looking at exactly what you're touching so that again could be dangerous. The other thing of course is you're only using one ear as opposed to both ears so that sound is not as apparent as it would be with the mechanic stethoscope. Alright so there you have it just a very brief look at the mechanic stethoscope so this is a pretty good tool to have around it's especially important to have a tool like this because of all the stuff that's going on in the engine compartment with the belt spinning and got the engine running it can be really hard to isolate a sound so a tool like this works very well for that. So hopefully this information was helpful and thanks for watching.